Yay! Good evening, friends. I be Warbus Five, and welcome to the return to Monkey Island. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this for the entire playthrough. As a matter of fact, I'm taking this thing off right now because it's fucking itchy. I suppose that's what you get for spending three bucks at Party City, or not Party City, three bucks at Spirit Halloween. Anyway, good evening, everybody. I'm Warboss Five, and welcome to an experiment. I'm seeing uh, how much I enjoy doing a more traditional uh, YouTube Let's Play than I do streaming. Um, so I'm hoping that you all enjoy it as well. We're going to be playing some Return to Monkey Island. Now, this game represents the sequel to a massively, just an incredibly important part of my childhood. Um, the Monkey Island series is really what got me into adventure games in the first place, and to this day remains basically one of my favorite game series of all time. Now, I was worried that we were going to have to do some, that I was going to have to do some recapping. I was basically going to have to explain the plot of, like, four games to you. Uh, but it turns out that since uh, the developers thought of fucking everything, we have this scrapbook here that will tell us all the shit that we've missed. So here's a quick recap of everything you might have missed uh, having not played the original Monkey Islands and or caught my 24-hour stream years ago where I played through the first two. Um, on the off chance you have seen it, then go ahead and skip to this time code when we actually start playing the game. But for those of you who haven't, let's uh, take a trip down memory lane. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. I would love to see your Mighty Pirate scrapbook, Guybrush. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That is a very stylized Guybrush Threepwood Guybrush. I don't know if we want to call that necessarily you. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Three delightfully bullshit trials. The uh, sword fighting. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Yeah, it was insult sword fighting. If you didn't insult, it didn't count. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. They're not really heavy. They were only about five pounds each, but there were a lot of them with very sharp teeth. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. I don't really remember execution. I mean, there is that one point in the first game where you could die if you set, if you literally let the game run for ten minutes, but... Uh, yeah, no, nah, execution didn't come up much. This is the, this one was delightful. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. The, uh, the treasure you find is a shirt that says, I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Yeah, you had to steal from her. And, uh, you didn't kill her dogs, you simply put them to sleep. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. Ah, uh, good old LeChuck. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. He was wrong. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Also, we would later lock Stan inside of a tomb. Uh, so, he did get better though. He did get better. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. Ah, yes, the melee, uh, the swordmaster of Melee Island, a convicted criminal, and a man with two hooks for hands who is terrified of a parrot. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. That was honestly one of the most fun puzzles in the, in the first game. It was nearly impossible to fail simply because, you know, you were on a confined pirate ship and there was only so many items you could pick up. But, like, one of the ingredients was a pressed skull that you then used the ship's Jolly Roger for. It was really quite clever. I really enjoyed that one. You had to brew a special potion oh, yeah, just to find Monkey Island. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. Yeah, they were remarkably vegan in later games. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. Accessed by... The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. It was literally a giant Q-tip. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. 
Pay attention to this man, because he's going to be very important in two games. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. Oddly enough, you spent very little time there. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? Because she's capable, Guybrush, something we will never be. By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works. Okay? It's it's like voodoo. It was it's it's like you know this voodoo root potion, and you're like it's this it's this huge thing throughout most of the game, and then it's literally root beer. You literally grab a can out of a busted soda machine at the end of the game to defeat LeChuck. It was the beginning of something magical. Indeed, it was. Until the next game when she vanished. To find the treasure of Big Whoop. Oh, Wally! He makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. Wally's adorable. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. So this lady may or may not be a goddess. It's kind of ambiguous exactly how much power she has. Uh, let's just say she's been in every game and she's been very important up till this point, so who knows really. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Yeah, you find the treasure of Big Whoop. You literally start the game like this, hanging from a rope with Elaine saving your ass. The rest of the game is you explaining how you got there, and then the rope breaks, and you fall. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. And then... One time... Oh, Elaine they don't tell you about it. A statue. Interesting. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. There's a huge chunk of what happens between that fight with LeChuck and Elaine being turned into a gold statue. And if I remember right, they cover it in this game. So I may need to do some explaining later, but we'll see. Murray! It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Oh, I love Murray. Murray, the all-powerful demonic talking skull! <laughs> I love Murray. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. I got eaten by a snake. Another one of those, very much like the uh, Monkey Island recipe puzzle in the first game, uh, the get eaten by a snake puzzle uh, was not terribly difficult. Uh, you basically take some Ipecac flowers you have, stuff them in a bottle of pancake syrup, and then pour it into the snake's stomach because syrup of Ipecac is an expectorant. <laughs> It's just, a, I, it always stuck in my head for some reason. I always enjoyed it. I got buried alive. There was that, yes. Then we buried Stan alive. Things backfired on LeChuck. Or did we find because Stan Elaine that time? I can't remember. All over. Game, set, matchmaker. Until the fourth game that we don't really talk about much. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh. Mm, it's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. The love story between Elaine and Guybrush is kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. Uh, he didn't. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. It is a law here in California. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Yeah, the Australian billionaire was a very, very, very thinly veiled reference to Rupert Murdoch, and the entire game was in this god-awful 3D. Uh, we, don't, we don't really talk much about Escape from Monkey Island, but I guess it is technically canon. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate, or even an insult at all. Or was it? I mean, it literally came down to a giant kaiju battle. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. It was actually fucking terrifying. 
Don't ask where I got the body parts from. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Oh, that was part of that thing, okay. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Also very important, the time he lost his fucking hand. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Yeah, it was basically just a uh, all-purpose lockpick that you just kind of had on you at all the times. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. That's just a general good. That's just general good advice for Guybrush's entire life. Trust Elaine more. Morgan Lefay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. Yeah, Morgan Lefay is kind of considered a bit cringy. She's like, she's introduced as Guybrush Threepwood's biggest fan, and like. Uh, gushes and gushes about all of his exploits before turning out to be like a famous pirate hunter and shit and like spends the rest of the series hunting him down. This is the series that Telltale put out that even more so than Escape was not really well received. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death except when it does. Yeah, that was a big uh, that was a big gag in the third game. Uh, you went to a fortune teller sat down and she started dealing off the deck and she dealt you five death cards in a row and then, like, panicked and told you to get out. Um, then you ended up using the five death cards to cheat at the hand of poker. It's a very strange game series. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Any man that defends himself has a fool for a client. Also, I don't think I ever actually played that far. I think I only got through, like, the first two or three games in the Telltale series, so that's... Sure, he was on trial. Why not? Love did win out in the end. I'll bet it did. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. And then he turned into my younger brother. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Actually, have you tried to tear a baguette? It's not easy. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of digital recording devices. We need no paper. All right. Recap over. Uh, note to self on timestamp. Uh, let's play the game. All right, casual mode. All the story and all the fun but with the casual puzzles for the busy on-the-go player. Or hard mode. More puzzles, harder puzzles. The full monkey for the pro-adventure gamer who wants it all. <laughs> Hell! Uh, yeah, hard mode. Thank you very much. I like it hard. Don't take that out of context. An unexpected story begins. Oh god, do I get a wooden leg this time? Do I still have the hook? I still don't know. This, LeChuck, ah, so it is doing a little bit of recap. Irish, come over here gently now. Remove my mask. This is the end of the second game. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> 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 um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. Oh, hey. It's real. This is, uh, one of the islands from the second game, I think. And then the big reveal. No? Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. It really is. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. I do hope I get to play no this way. game at some you point. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. Okay, so this is essentially the ending of the second game. Now, when the second Monkey Island I game came... scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Thank you, Chucky. Uh, when the second game came out... Uh, the developers realized that they probably weren't going to get a third, and so they decided to end the story as conclusively as possible to prevent endless endless sequelizing, uh, to a degree. Essentially, uh, you defeat LeChuck, you tear his leg off, as they said, and then he asks you to take off this mask, and suddenly... You go have scurvy dog 
dogs with cheese inside. Ugh. Hot dogs with cheese. Ugh. Uh, anyway, um, the you tear his leg off, you take the mask off, and suddenly he's Chucky, your older brother. And you were, in fact, two children at the Big Whoop Amusement Park. Um, and you weren't actually uh, pirates attempting to murder each other on the high seas. And then you go out and you meet your parents, and all of those lines are directly lifted from the ending, except... Orange had the hiccups for four days straight. Just hold your breath. It's not that hard. Um, so, but then as you're walking away, Chucky turns and faces the camera, and you see, like, a skeletal grin on his face. You see lightning shoot from his eyes, which is what he was referencing, uh, showing that, or is it, kind of thing. Um, which they ended up, uh, Skipping, basically all the stuff we're playing through now happens between the second and third game. The third game ends with you escaping the theme Did park. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? You can keep it warmer by sticking it other places, Chucky my boy. Anyway, we should probably actually play now. Um, so, we have things. Get some scurvy dogs. Is it real? Ah, sounds yeah. real. It does indeed. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Ah, he's dead to the world. No, Chucky, I think he's just dead. Pretty sure those sounds are uh, gas escaping his uh, corpse. What do you got here? Words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Do I have controls? I don't know if I have controls or not. Let's get some scurvy dogs. Well, that looks savory. Oh, different different buttons have different controls. Got it. Who are you? Wow, check out those glasses. Ask the guy for some stuff. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's a... I don't know if you can see it. Let me move out of the way. There's a, there's a, a delightful, little, uh, delightful little fly right here to go with just for that extra sousson of friends, absolute filth. Dog. A chien score butt. And in America, they call it a hot dog with or what? No, God, there was a joke there. Fuck, I'm terrible. Anyway. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight. I That's do not. Money that grown ups use. Oh, go fuck yourself. Have you got any? No. Then no fries. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Please. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> yeah. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. You are neither of those. Coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. So we're gonna go find ourselves some shit-covered money. Uh, I can see How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. How are the fries four times the cost of a hot dog? They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> All right, anything else to look at in here? Oh, grog! Yes! How much is grog? How much is a mug of grog? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it! I want grog! I two scurvy dogs at the same time. Can we get a mug of grog, please? I told you, grog's only for grown-ups. Stop wasting my time. I ain't doing nothing of the sort. I. This is the Caribbean, goddammit. Oh, hey, I have an inventory. And it has opened my to do list. Find a coin and buy scurvy dogs. Okay. I suppose we can. I suppose it's nice to have a to do list. Let's muck about. Oh, wait, what's this? Check the barrel! Wow. Not checking that again. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door. Was he just to gonna? Dogs. Was he just gonna like punch the first person that came that came up to the door? All right, what do we got here? So, walking all the way over here. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. 
All right, what's in this barrel? I wonder if this is drinking water. I mean, technically, maybe? Exhibit removed. Aw. Tie up Chucky. Hey, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Fine, be a killjoy. All right, into the shitter. I should get that key from the scurvy dog shack. You mean that key that I kind of knew I would need? Oh, look at those people out on the beach. Delightful. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Yoink. Bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. So why isn't it attached to that? That'd be a way more that'd be a way more effective deterrent. It's like here, have this key. It's attached to a child's fucking leg. That is no longer attached to the child. Uh, what's this? Examine the outhouse key. It unlocks the outhouse. I'm sure that'll matter at some point. Alright. You unlocked it. If I had my pit if I had my fucking hook hand, I could have just unlocked it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. <laughs> I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Convince Chucky to wash his hands. Chucky, it says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. That, not surprising. Little metal thing. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. So That's a slug. called a slug. Oh, it's hey. It's like a fake coin. Cool. Can I pick it up? Peel the slug off the floor. Think about the slug. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. It looks just like a piece of eight. A fake coin is Ugh. almost as good as a real coin. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, Guybrush. Gross. No coins in there. We have our fake coin. Ah, yes. The game starts as it means to go on with us stealing everything in sight and cheating honest working, uh, honest working people. Uh, I should probably put this back. Hey, look! I'm returning the key! You want a medal? No, I want a scurvy dog. Oh, hey! I got an achievement for that! Peg leg! Alright. Nope. Uh, yep, don't leave. Uh... What can we get with this? A chip a tooth, dude. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Ew. Take them, boy. Oh, God. Oh, they're what on sticks. Oh. Just kidding. Here's yours. Oh, Jesus Christ. The hair. Oh, oh God. I just had dinner. Oh. What do you want to do now? I thought I'd come I across something that's actually more do? horrifying than hot dogs. All right, what do we want to do? Let's, let's follow those strange people, I guess. Let's go this way now. Oh, hey. That's my friend, D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. I don't know if this is supposed to be a there. reference to someone. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidhead. Oh, hey, it's the, uh, it's the spitting, uh, thing. Oh, it's a race now. Uh, this was in the second game. You had to use a bunch of, like... I tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. You had to use, like, specific timing and special fluids to spit as far as you could to win a spitting contest and earn a bunch of money. Uh, so let's look at this to-do list of ours. Uh, oh, hello. Take a bite of the scurvy dog. Om nom nom. So good. I'll take your word for it on there, Guybrush. All right, mess around and explore. Check out the anchor. Beat Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Practice sword fighting. Find a four-leaf clover. Make a wish of the wishing well. And find our real parents. I feel like one of those is slightly more important than the others. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. 
Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. Press period to skip dialogue. As a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed I'm kind of enjoying just sitting here seeing how long she can go. Sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes. I'm curious if there's an ending. Have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. Oh, that actually does make sense. The at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Oh. Most anchors these days are made of iron. I'm actually learning things. You have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. Oh, that isn't word just anchor comes capitalism from in a nutshell. Para. Meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> so it would seem. You missed anything, you can press comma to see previous lines. Good to know. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Uh, I guess it wants me to... Oh yeah, okay, that's the thing. Okay. Just teaching me controls, I guess. Hey, Chucky. Wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, Is that the one, around go. the world and... AD oh, was I supposed to Chucky do something wins. there? I was probably supposed to do something there. Yeah. Never even left yeah. the fucking starting line. Okay, uh, let's try this again. I have to actually click. On. I'll officiate. Can I Three, do a false start? Hey, cheater. Yep. You have to wait until I say go. <laughs> oh, I love go little shit like race. that. These Get games on. are just a delight. Alright. One. one. Go. Shit, I lost. Chucky wins. I think I have to click when she says one. And so I get a slight yeah. head start. It's just a little bit just a little bit of cheating. A little bit just a little bit of cheating. Go right. for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one. Hey, cheater. Okay, too early. You have to wait until I say go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, once more, once more. Go for another race? You're I think on. I can get this. I'll officiate. I think I can get this. Three. This two, is fun, I like one. this. Cheater. Still too early. Have to wait until ah, I still too early. Go. This must be. You're I'm guessing this is one of those hard mode puzzles. On. All right, come on. Three, two, one, go. Chucky wins. Do I have to do like a look over there, a three-headed monkey? Yeah. Next time for sure. You know, there's. So I'm betting there's something I'm gonna need to do here. Ah. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? That's not Go true at all. Race, you're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I have to click. I have to rapidly Again. click to. Oh! <laughs> uh, you okay there, Chuck? Okay, cool. So we did that. Uh, oh, hey, some free bread. Hey, hands off. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, could we have some bread to feed the ducks? we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. That's because you're bad people. You're not supposed to feed ducks bread. You're not supposed to feed ducks processed foods. Frozen home, peas, I've frozen got a corn. Of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. What do you do with them? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. Excuse me. Yes. We pretend to be our parents you again. Pretend to be our parents again. What do you mean again? along and find your real parents. Alright, so we ha clearly have to do something to them. Something probably terrible. Did you know you can keep a stir- Don't feed the duck. I want to feed the duck! 
Truly a pirate at heart. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. How do I not know what ketchup is? I'm assuming I just dipped this. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. Okay, do I? I guess I can you just pick the glob up. Dog. Okay. I once uh, had the hiccups for four days. Straight. Sniff the red glob. It smells bad. Yeah, I'll bet it does. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, oh Jesus! No. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Use that to feed the ducks there, Guybrush. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. Yeah, this is horrifying. Oh, sword fighting. Yes! There's some insult sword fighting. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh-uh! <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun! The key to insult sword fighting, of course, is that you have to have an appropriate retort. Um, home, I've got a for instance, in the first game, the most famous uh, sword fighting line was, uh, you fight, your opponent would say, you fight like a dairy farmer, and you would reply, how appropriate, you fight like a cow. Your sword is as sharp as a banana. I'll still tear you down to size. As you can see, it's getting I better. I sure won that one. In your dreams. You fight like kids. Uh, also, uh, if you happen to be sword fighting on the high seas, not only do your insults have to be appropriate, they also have to rhyme. Uh, just something you learn in the third game. Apparently, sea battles require rhyming. Did that actually count? Did we... uh... Uh, yes, it appears we did. Um... Do not pick the four leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! That can be. Search for four leaf clover. Search for a four leaf clover! Okay. Good luck with that. Do I have to actually do this, or are they just going to do it for me? Oh god, it's literally right there at my feet, isn't it? Holy I shit! One. Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! We are straight up Philip J. Frying this thing. Okay, um... Oh, you know what? I bet I could, uh... I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. Maybe I can beat the four-leaf clover? <laughs> it's adorable! A lucky duck! Oh, I want to beat the duck! It's so cute! And that counted! I wonder if there was, like, another way I could have solved... It would be really cool if they had, like, multiple ways to solve some of these, uh... uh some of these, uh, puzzles. Although it doesn't look like it. Red. Oh, what's in the basket? I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Can I move again? Blah, blah. Oh. Blah, 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 I can blah, steal the bread blah, blah, while they're chewing blah, 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 out Chucky. How rude. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's let's feed the duck bread, I guess. I stole it from that couple. It's like kids these days, no respect for other people's property. You are in the Caribbean during the golden age of piracy. I don't want to hear it. All right. So what's our last thing? We have one more thing to do. Uh, make a wish at the wishing well, and then we have to find our parents. Alright, so... Oh, hey, look at that! An actual coin. Like an actual piece Did of eight. You know, you can... Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. I think that's a grand idea. I wish Chucky had a mustache. I wish Dee would disappear. I wish for a cool plant. I wish for another scurvy dog. I wish I could speak backwards. Uh... Speak backwards. I wish we could speak backwards. 
Or what is yes, you know. Yes. Yes, yes, you got Delightful. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, D, it was oh, man. not that funny. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. Alrighty, so we have completed all of our chores, except for finding our real parents. So I think we'll hold that till next time. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm already having a fucking blast. This is I such... Was a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Yes, thank you, Chucky. Uh, this is such a wonderful nostalgia trip for me. Um, so, uh, more video to come next time. Uh, until then, please like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I got a ton of other games here on the channel. And uh, until I see you again, have a good one. And stay safe out there. Yarr!